Saver Wedding Dress Salons, Gabriella. So I'm back here today because I wanted to get more accessory help on jewelry and accessory and how to do my hair and everything because right now I really don't know exactly how I'm gonna do my hair or anything. I just know my dress style. So I wanted to pick and choose accessories that would really fit well into that. So I have a stylist who can help me here today, but they have a really good gorgeous selection um, at Gabriella. So let's get started with this one. So here are the headband selections. A lot of good variety. And then you have this one as well. Like you have floral. This one's going to be really beautiful if you kind of want to have that casual elegance kind of vibe. Has that pearl detail, especially if you're going to wear like a pearl earring or something. Absolutely. It'll be really beautiful. Yeah. I think that's very pretty. So this one is actually really pretty too. Mm -hmm. very so this one actually has like a chain in the back. So oh it kind of drapes God. behind your your head as well, depending yeah. if you have like your hair up or anything. Kind okay. of in that vibe as well. Okay. So you have that. Mm -hmm. And then that one, I think that might be a little too more much. casual. Yeah. Like a little too like day wear. Yeah. Um, this one's kind of another vibe of that pearl. Rather that than one having is pretty too. Oh, those are both like very pretty, yeah. We can try both. Vibe. Yeah. Try those. And then this one's actually more of like a piece, like a comb rather than a headband. Oh, nice. That's just kind of like these. That's go actually into very cool. Hair, so it's a comb. So yeah. that's going to be really cool okay. as well. So we'll try these. Okay. This, a circlet, kind of like tiara type moment. I don't uh, know if you love a moonstone. Yeah. A little, want to look something a little more. Yeah. It can look a little casual sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> Depending what you can do if you're doing gold. That is pretty. Be a good piece. Through here. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Let's trade those out. Right. So this is the very first headband. Yeah, like a double pearl kind of vibe here. It's really great if you're in a parrot with a pair of pearl earrings, which you said you might be doing. Uh, maybe, yeah. So that would be a really nice contrast. It kind of brings it a little more like down to earth, kind of easy, not anything yeah. too crazy going on. Mm -hmm. So it's a good kind of look. It's very dainty, I like Yeah, soft, doesn't, doesn't draw too much attention, but yeah. it still has something in yeah. there. Yeah, it gives it leaves the option for me to leave my hair down if I want to as well, mm -hmm. or leave it up. Yeah. yeah, versus something kind of in this vibe here. Okay has a little more kind of going on with yeah. it, a little more. This one has a little more. I, I think I prefer the first yeah. one. Cool. Yeah. Good to know. The first one. And then, if you want to add a little bit of sparkle mm -hmm. and kind of that gold, because you said you might be mentioning some a little bit of gold, gold detail. Yeah, I'm always wearing gold jewelry. <laughs> so in there, this is just a little bit more sparkle. If you want to have. Yep. Ooh. The details here, very, very pretty. Yeah, with the wiring and everything, it's also a little bit more adjustable. So like yeah. this right here, you can kind of push that in, you can kind of manipulate it mm -hmm. a little bit to kind of be where you want it to be. Oh, this is very, really very, pretty. very pretty. This one's kind of better right here. It's a handcrafted ceramic, so it's beautifully handmade. It's a brass more than a gold. Yeah. So it has a beautiful finish. This one's gonna be a little bit better if you're gonna be having like, I think, a hair up, hair down. Yeah, down. I probably because won't this, be having my hair down entirely, so that's yeah. probably better. So this actually sits in the back with the comb. I don't want to scratch you. So kind of like in there, and so then it goes to the side. So it kind of just has, and these you can manipulate. You can kind of move them up or down, however you need. And then when your hair up is half up, half down, your hair then kind of hides that comb in there as well. Perfect. How do you feel about that one? I kind of like this too. <laughs> yeah, and it, it can match pretty much anything. Anything, you know. yeah. But it's a beautiful, and it's all hand done, and yeah. it's ceramic, so it's You know, like I actually really like the fact stunning. that it's like kind of backwards, so. Yeah, so it's not in your face. Yeah, so now I put my hair up, and then we're gonna move into some of the hair clip pieces yeah. now. So this one's a clip, so you can kind of see it has more of like a barrette piece in the side. So this one, you kind of just, however you part your hair, yeah. generally, I mean, everyone is different what side they part their hair. You just clip it in and it has like a nice sparkle piece that can be removed and then moved later. That is really, really pretty. <laughs> it's stunning. This is and stunning. it's also, I'm not sure, do you have any like siblings that are getting married or anything? Um, 
eventually. Eventually, yeah, I have a So what, something that I actually did with my family is mm -hmm. my sister who got married first had a brooch like this and she wore it in her hair and then my other sister wore it in her hair. Oh, so it became like a family piece. Yeah. So I'm gonna wear it on my lapel. So it's gonna be like a piece oh and gosh. like things like this are really easy to do yeah, that with. Yeah. If you don't wanna carry down a veil, yeah, exactly. these are great pieces that mm, become family pieces. Abby younger sister, she's my maid of honor. Okay. Yeah, so she's probably getting married in, I don't know, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's a little smaller of a Let's barrette see. piece in here. Yeah. It has a little bit more of a floral, kind of like, it's more silver, so you know, gunmetal. Yeah. Kind of in there. Ooh, I really like the whole gunmetal feel. Yeah. If you decide to not go with the gold. The gold, the yeah, but this would really go with pearls, though, you know? Yeah. If I, I have a small pearl earring, I think this would go well with yeah. that, too. Really Absolutely. Nice. Very, very pretty. Something like in here, which is really beautiful. Oh, okay. So this is a scattered lace veil. Yeah. So it doesn't something. have the tradition of yeah. something that's going to be like around the edges. Mm -hmm. So it brings a little bit of modern, and depending if you have um, lace or not, a lot of lace can be um, yeah. mimicked with this, so it will match a lot. But if you end up in a plain gown as well, it's nice to add a little bit of lace as a detail that's not distracting. Very true. And still very modern and yeah, classic yeah. with the dress. Yeah. So it really just depends what kind of vibe you're going Right. So now we're going to try on some veils. I haven't picked one out yet, so I'm just trying to see what kind of style I want to do. Overall. So we're gonna start out with a, this is what I call like a clean classic. It has a raw edge, mm -hmm. just really beautiful. Complements pretty much any dress if you don't wanna have too much going on. Yeah. So this one I love, cause I'm from the South, so I love some drama. Yeah. So it has two tiers, so it's gonna have a lot of volume, okay. which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's two ways you can put in a veil, kinda depends on how you're doing your hair. If you're having your hair in an updo, yeah. like it's gonna be something like up here, yeah. what you can do is either put it on top, mm -hmm. or if you don't, because you're spending all this money on your hair, you can also put it underneath, so that uh, your hair is kind of over it, so it looks I like it's even coming out. Think about that. So you're spending all this money on your hair, why yeah. not see it? Really kind of depends. For today, I'm gonna okay. go ahead and do it above, just because yep. you have your hair up, so it makes yep. it just a little bit easier. But it has, oh, I like it has that like, volume, yeah. so it kind of comes around, but you don't lose the feel of uh -huh. the bridal kind of vibe. Yeah. So you can see that how long it is as well. But it's beautiful, it has the two tier. So if you wanted to do a blusher, you could. Yeah. Like where this goes over your face, you can. Not. It's kind of depending on how traditional you want. So right here, you can kind of see where the veil is. You can get a comb, which just has another here, and it will just kind of create that illusion of a finished product. So when you step back, you don't see the comb. You just see this beautiful detailing. So this one has a little bit more sparkle in it. This is really nice. Or, instead, you could do something kind of like this one right here, which is gonna have a little bit more of a softer kind of vibe. Just kind of depends what your aesthetic is. Has like a soft kind of vibe as well. This is beautiful as well. Just you have to find the right personal piece. Yeah. For what you're looking for. Thank you. Oh, and this is how it looks like over. <laughs> yeah, and so a little, like just a little advice that I've done at weddings yeah. before is if you choose to do this, yeah. kind of hold it out here, use yeah. a little bit of hairspray, not a lot, oh. and it'll kind of keep it from being it? like on your face. Oh, it okay. just gives it like a little bit of stiffness so you can walk down and just help out a little bit. It may not be okay. a huge difference, yeah. but every little bit. Helps. The next style that we're doing. Yeah. So this is what I call a scattered lace veil. Yeah. So it's gonna be a little bit more modern, like we were saying, because uh -huh. it has the lace scattered throughout. Yeah. So, I'm not giving anything away about the dress, so I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk in kind of like vague terms. <laughs> so when you're doing a dress, whether it has lace or not, um, you could do, like say your dress had lace, mm -hmm. you could sometimes, designers let you order like applique, so you could kind of create this so the lace would match. Right. Also, I mean, lace a lot of time is floral, yeah. so this would actually blend in pretty well with Absolutely, the gown. Yeah. But on the vice versa, which is kind of nice here, mm -hmm. you have uh, something clean. 
just add a little bit of that lace vibe and it doesn't clash with your gown because you have a clean gown. Yeah, true. So it really just kind of depends what you're looking for. So again, it has two tiers because that's just a personal favorite of mine. But you can see the lace detail at the bottom and it just kind of climbs up and then dissipates. And then again, you can add a comb. If you would like, I'm gonna go back to, do you think sparkle or floral? All right. I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle here. Just gonna go in here. Perfect, something kind of like in there. So you can kind of see a little bit of that sparkle. To get pretty far. Perfect. This one is longer. This one, it does hit the floor. So this would be closer to either a chapel, cathedral, it kind of varies yeah. by designer and what they call it. Veil. It's really pretty. You don't always have to do it with like this satin trim. Yeah. This would aid in a clean gown, but you could do it in like a raw edge. Yeah. Kind of like the first veil, if you were doing something I with think lace. I want the cleaner one without the edges. Yeah. The first veil for shorter maybe. Yeah. Because it can go with pretty much anything, yeah. which is yeah. beautiful. I love a two tier just because it gives a little more volume. Oh, just a, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it allows for the blusher without having to do the blusher. I just think it's a really yeah. clean kind of look. <laughs> um, personally, I can't tell you because I know what your dress looks like. So <laughs> I don't want to give anything away. So <laughs> I do like that one because it's very versatile and I love the volume in it personally. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you can extend length on veils as well. So if you like the first one, but you like the length of the second one, you can Yep, you can extend that. Most designers will do that for you. Stunning! <laughs>